Today, yet another stunningly beautiful snake. It is the speckled king snake. I'm the snake artist, and I draw some of the most beautiful animals in the world. When I don't use photos, I don't always get the best sketch. But I love doing this, and I want to share it with you. So come along on the adventure as I fill my journal with some of the most amazing wildlife. So I'm down in Texas and I am hunting for snakes with my friend Joe Farah and we find this beautiful speckled king snake. Now these are actually immune to the venom of rattlesnakes and other vipers and they eat them. Other snakes will eat rattlesnakes and things like that but they're not immune to the venom. Oh, these gosh, guys actually have beautiful. something in their blood that neutralizes the venom. Wow, really? They're really cool. So that's called a speckled king snake. Oh. So I've seen king snakes that look a bit like coral snakes, you know? Yep, there are um, scarlet king snakes that look like coral snakes. Bit Bill, but that's only right. Several times. He deserved it. He was just minding his own business. God, that's beautiful snake. Yeah, he is. It's not so I'm going to stink really well after this. Yeah, that's what we wanted. <laughs> if he didn't go home smelling like snakes, we failed. <laughs> The next day I'm drawing with my friend the artistic biker. It's always fun when two friends get together who are both artists and draw the same subject. The interpretation comes out very different each time. And this guy's not making it easy. He's moving and wriggling all over the place. Not only that, but we also have the confusion of the spots. Just like the diamond python, and this would be convergent evolution if you like, this snake has also adopted the same color pattern and has that same dazzly feeling on the eye. Once again, I have to use the word snakeadelic. Hashtag snakeadelic. So again, this is a pattern to cause confusion. It makes it very hard for your eyes to focus in on what you're looking at. And it is also works as a form of camouflage as well. If it's on a dark background with a few pebbles here and there, a few grains of dirt, and you've got this thing which is also dark with spots all over it, it's going to make it very, very hard to sort of focus in on what you're looking at. So it's pretty cool to see what my friend's drawn as well. He's drawn a very quick picture of the snake, and I quite like his smooth flowing lines and the fast way that he works. It's a pretty cool style. Back to the studio and I'm going to add some color to this beautiful gorgeous snake. Try and do it some justice. There is a little bit of a color variation. This one seems very yellow. The dots seem quite yellow. I've seen other speckled king snakes where those dots are almost white and once again this is almost the same with the diamond python in Australia. Sometimes those dots are almost white sometimes they are a yellow. So I can't help but notice how similar these snakes are, although one's a python and one's on the ground. Uh, they live very different lifestyles and yet they have adopted the same color pattern. They are not related. The only way they're related is that they are both snakes. But beyond that, there's no relationship there at all. It's like you'll see animals using the same color even though they are not related. Just think of a leopard shark or a zebra shark and a leopard. Or think of a tiger shark, a tiger snake and a tiger. Using certain patterns just works in nature and so sometimes it just crops up again. And here is the completed study of the speckled king snake. Congratulations, made it to the end of the video. Link below, you'll find my red bubble site. That's where you can get some products relating to what I've drawn today. The speckled king snake. You can have it on pillows, you can have it on t-shirts, you can have it on phone thingies, you can have it on all sorts of products. You can even have a wall clock with it on. So that's uh, links below. You may just like a nice frame print. I don't know. The links are below, you decide. And hey, check out the artistic biker. I've put a link below to his YouTube page. He's an awesome bloke. Check him out. Also, why not check out some of these videos here? I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and uh, share this video with somebody who doesn't like snakes. <laughs>